What's happening, YouTube? This is your man, Paul Radio Man 2094 here. Back in with another video. And today we're going to be doing a special video. I'm going to share all my favorite tech that I reviewed this year on my YouTube show. Just the ones that I have as of right now. The ones that you didn't see in this video and then the ones I shared before. I don't have any more. I still have my JBL headphones, of course, but like the on earbuds, like everyone's been talking about the Skull Candy earbuds that I used to have. I don't have those anymore. I sold those because those are complete garbage. But I'm going to share all my favorite tech that I have as of right now. This and then had a lot of reviews on. And then the most underrated tech, my favorite earbuds. So on that note, let's get started. So stab by. All right, so we're going to start off with my favorite phone of the year, which is this guy right here, the Samsung Galaxy A11. This is my new uh, daily phone. And then the most underrated phone that I reviewed on my YouTube channel. I even have my Incipio case on. Yeah. But yeah, this phone is uh, 100 bucks at Walmart. And then they have that deal going on. You can get this phone for 50 bucks. This is the... I, didn't, I, I think I forgot to mention the name, but this is the Samsung Galaxy A11. But yeah, this is the most underrated budget phone of the year. By far. But there's going to be many more to come on this. I'll review some more budget phones and stuff like that. But as of right now, this is my new favorite phone of the year. And then the most underrated phone that I reviewed on my YouTube channel along with the Galaxy A10e. Which I did a few months ago. And then I did the Cricket Wireless version too. But now this is my new favorite phone of the year. It was the A10e. And now today it's the A11. This is my new favorite phone. And it's a lot bigger than the A10e. That's for sure. But yeah. This is my new favorite phone of the year. The Samsung Galaxy A11. 100 bucks at Walmart. Or if you get the deal going on over there. You can get it for 50 bucks. But I'll leave the link for this up in the description if you want to buy it. I recommend getting this one for sure. If you're looking for a new budget phone or if you're on the market for a new phone, that is anyway. If you don't feel like spending like a grand, 500 bucks, whatever, I recommend getting this one. But real quick, now let's move on to my favorite earbuds of the year. So stand by. So we're starting off with number three on my list because I'm going to, this is like my third favorite uh, earbud, but we'll get towards the other two in a minute. And you already know what number one's going to be, of course, but this is like number three on my list. I like, I like the sound on these earbuds and then you got a full functional app. I also reviewed this case too a few months ago. So let's take a look at the earbuds real quick. And of course, let's take them out of the case so you can see it. So this is what they look like out of the case. It's pencil style. You got your sound cord insignia right there. And of course, the case is Qi wireless charge, Qi wireless charge compatible. It kind of feel, looks like an AirPods case, of course. But real quick, let me take it over to the app. You got more functionality with the app real quick. Oh yeah, and this also has, takes USB Type-C. USB A to USB Type-C. That came in the box, but I put it in here just for the fuck of it. But alright, let me pause the video real quick and let me get it to the app. Stand by. Alright, so the, you definitely want to download this app. The Soundcore app. It's available on Android and iOS, of course. Of course, here's the battery percentages from the left and the right earbud. And then you got equalizer. So I have it mindset to personalized. But you could set a custom EQ. You have professional. You got default. These are all your basic, 
basically your bait, basically your different, uh, what was it, EQ settings, what I meant to say, my bad, I guess, anyways, and then if you go over here, you got your controls, so single tap, I have it set as, on the left side, you got volume down, and then vol volume up, on the left, volume down and volume up on the right. You get the idea of what I'm trying to say, guys. Anyways, and then double tap. I have it both set to play and pause. And then hold for two seconds. Uh, previous track on the left and then next track on the right. So yeah, basically a fully functional app. But that's everything I wanted to share. So this is number three on my list. Now let's take it over to the next ones. Stand by. All right, so Samsung Galaxy Buds is number two on my list. These have great sound, and then you have a fully functional app, and then a Qi wireless charge compatible case. And of course, whenever you open the Galaxy Buds case up, they'll automatically, you'll see get that seamless connectivity. Same as Apple products, that is. And of course, I got 100% on both earbuds. And then now, real quick, let's take it over to the app. Okay. And then, here's all the functions on the app. Of course, here's all your... Watch, let me turn off this light real quick. All right. And of course, it advises you to clean your earbuds regularly. To make sure you're always getting full rich volume and rich balance sound. Of course you get what it's saying. That's self-explanatory. And of course, there's the battery percentages on the left and right earbud. And of course you got your EQ. I have mine set to dynamic because that's the loudest one. And has a lot of punch to the bass and stuff. Whenever I listen to different genres and shit. And then read notifications out loud. And of course, you could have this off and on if you want. I choose to have it off, but it'll read your notification. Say if you got a Facebook notification, it'll say Facebook or a text message, whatever. And of course, you got touch controls. Of course, it's fully functional. On the left, I have mine set to quick ambient sound. And then on the right, I got voice command. But you could like double tap. To get to the next track and then one tap for playing pause i have it set on both earbuds basically fully functional and then you got advanced seamless can seamless earbud connection of course like you just saw a moment ago you could have that off and on if you want of course and of course you got find my earbuds so let's take one out of the case and then let's uh, press this one real quick. Of course you hear it. Makes a tweeting sound. Of course, fully functional. But yeah, I like I like that feature though. And of course, about earbuds, about Galaxy Wearable. Pretty much simple and straightforward. And this app's available on Android and iOS. So you can use these earbuds for Apple as well. So yeah, this is number two on my list. But now let's get to number three. Stand by. Alright, so next on my list, watch, let me turn on the light, is the Beats Flex. I did this review three days ago. These are my new favorite earbuds of the year. The sound on these sound amazing. And then they got a lot of uh, nice mids and highs. And like deep punchy bass because you know the beats sound. They go heavy on the bass and stuff. So yeah, these are definitely my, my new favorite earbuds of the year. And then these are good for people that don't like truly wireless earbuds because you're always losing them. Of course, you could as the pocket-friendly design, so you could fold them up, put them in your pocket, and then whenever you're ready to get them out, 
pop them right back into shape, put them on your neck. You know what to do. And of course, it definitely works on Apple because you got the W1 chip. So whenever you turn them on, you'll get that pop up on the screen. And then uh, you just connect them like that and then you'll get automatic updates since these are a subdivision of Apple. And of course, they do work with Android as well. So I have my phone right here. So I definitely have that app. I have, but with, for Android though, you gotta download the Beats app. It's available on Google Play. But real quick, let me turn these on. Of course, they're connected. And of course, any moment though, I'll get that pop like pop up on the screen with the battery percentage and all that. But if anything, I'll just take it to the Beats app. But of course, you see that they're connected, so you pretty much get the idea. But real quick, let yeah, let's take it over to Beats. Of course, I got a hundred percent. 100% on the earbuds right now and of course I got product features of course this is a little tutorial of course these earbuds are magnetic I'll give you guys a sample here in a minute I did a full review on these so in case you guys want to see them again yeah I'll give you guys a sample real quick and of course so yeah they magnetize together and of course uh, one button for play and pause and then double tap on that button to skip to the next track. Triple tap to reverse. And then long press for Siri or your Google Assistant. And then, oh yeah, and that's what I just mentioned. And of course, that's your volume up and down rocker right there. I'll pretty much share all this just real quick because these, these are my new favorite earbuds, granted. Oh yeah, and then here's the, of course, it's running Bluetooth Low Energy for that seamless connectivity. So real quick, let me go home real quick. Just for the, we're just having fun guys because this is the holiday. We're almost going towards the new year so why not enjoy the moment. All right, and then power these on. Okay, there it is. And then they're connected. So I should begin the pop-up any moment. Okay, I see another notification. Of course, like you see right there, Beats Flex 100% and it's using Bluetooth Low Energy. So yeah, pretty much simple and straightforward. Now let me give you a sample on uh, on like the touch controls and, and how they sound real quick. Stand by. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to give you guys a definition on how they sound real quick. So I got a classic jam queued up. I got Tupac, how do you want it? So real quick, one tap, play and pause. Let's go. How do you want it? How does veal coming up? Cash game living in the fast lane, ah, for real. How do you want it? How do you feel? Comes up. Cash game living in the fast lane, ah, oh, for real. Oh yeah, this is definitely, I love that sound. A lot of punch to the bass. Real quick, let's check the magnetic feature. Let's do this on live on video. Of course, they pause the music like that. And then if you unmagnetize them like they are right now, your music starts playing again. And of course, magnetize them again, it pauses the track. But yeah, these are a triple A plus. I did this review three days ago. Yeah, these are my new favorite earbuds of the year. Watch, let me get a wipe down real quick. Because these are our Christmas present. Granted, I want to keep this shit, you know, good and legit. You know what I'm saying? But real quick... Let's uh, check the volume controls real quick. Of course, you got your Beats logo right there. And of course, on the side, you got your volume rocker. Of course, uh, that's volume up. So let's go to volume down. 
Watch, let me play his music real quick. Alright, so... Vo okay. Alright, just making sure I'm doing it right. Okay. So, real quick, let's check volume up and down. Again. Okay, so volume's going down, of course. Okay. And then double tap to skip to the next track. Okay, I hate these YouTube ads. Watch, give me a second. All right. And then triple tap to reverse. And then pause your track. And then play. All right, and then let's power these off real quick. Okay. And then power them back on. And of course, it takes one second to connect, so this is impressive. And of course, let's check your voice assistant. Let's all hold down the button. What's the weather for today? Okay, so no problems with the touch controls at all. And then there's no problem with lag or phone calls. Today, I even use these to, you know, talk on the phone. Whenever I had received a phone call, not one of those telemarketing calls like we all, I hate those fucking calls, but a real actual call, I just unmagnetize these, put them in my ears, and then they automatically answer the call. But you have that setting on the app if you have an Android phone. But yeah, you could probably do this on Apple too. Although, this is like a AirPods alternative as well, because you know, um, because, you know, the iPhone 12 and shit doesn't come with, like, headphones anymore. Or uh, even the AC adapter. So, this is, like, a, an alternative right here. But, yeah, I definitely recommend this alternative for sure. For sure. They got a... They got... Nice, deep, rich sound. It's classic beats, man. It's classic beats with the sound. You're getting beat sound for 50 bucks. A lot of highs, a lot of mids. Nice punchy bass. But these definitely deliver, though, for the price. For sure. For sure. But, of course, I rate these at number one. These are my new favorite earbuds. And then I'm going to have these every day until I get the beat solo. But I'll switch up with these two, though. But stay tuned for the Beat Solo video. And I will be doing a video on the iPod Touch as well. But now real quick. Let's uh, let's wrap things up here. Stand by. Alright, so these are all my favorite uh, tech products that I reviewed this year. Like my favorite, favorite ones. So number three. The Soundcore Liberty Air 2s. Number two, the Samsung Galaxy Buds, the original ones. And then number one on my list, the Beats Flex. And then my favorite phone of the year is the Samsung Galaxy A11. So yeah, these are my favorite tech products of the year. But I will be doing more in the future though. And then stay tuned for that case video that I'm going to be doing for the Galaxy A11 and the Galaxy Buds. I'm just going to combine it all into one video. I'm going to get some cases for the Galaxy A11 and a couple cases for the Galaxy Buds. So stay tuned on that part. And then like I said, I'm going to review the Beat Solo. Once I buy those, I was going to look into like the Solo 3s or the Solo Pros. Those are like next on my list. And then the iPod Touch 7 generation. Even though it came out two years ago, why not bring it onto the channel? Because I was going to... That was actually one of my New Year's resolutions is try to use Apple at least just to see how smooth it is, I guess. But 
I'm using Android as my daily phone and then probably use the iPod just as a messing around device just to jam the music and then and then use it for like YouTube and shit but we'll see but stay tuned for those videos and then many more gameplays to come and then many more tech reviews to do on my channel but like I said these are all my favorite tech products of the year but yeah I'll definitely be using these every day now but but yeah so this is my favorite tech of the year since we're almost towards the end of 2020 I just wanted to share this video and all that good stuff so I had a great year with you guys and hope to see you guys again this coming year even though we're going through this pandemic right now but yeah but hit me up in the comments let me know let me know what you guys think about this video and then I'll leave the links for the videos in the description and then uh, leave the links for all these products in the description as well too if you guys want to buy them you know just your order them online and stuff not my products but you get what I'm saying though you get what I'm saying buy your own uh, products but real quick here's me one more time so stand by guys but yeah though I had a great year with you guys reviewing all the stuff had a little bit of bad videos here and there like some products I didn't really like you know like the skull candy Jeb earbuds the ink the ink or well, the ink plus and then the ink plus active those sound like garbage and but the beats flex right here they're definitely destroying those in every single department including the sound buds life I reviewed last year too but yeah these are definitely gonna be my new earbuds to wear but and then the galaxy buds is like my second ones to wear and then the third pair is my sound course for now until something comes up who knows they might even come out with new galaxy buds I might keep on a lookout for those and then all the new budget phones that are coming out like budget galaxy models but there might be a possibility where I might review the galaxy a51 5g that's one phone on my list so stay tuned for that video if I get it but yeah and supposedly maybe looking into the ps5 but we'll see what happens though but like I said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like I said I had fun with you guys this year and hope to see you guys again for more videos whenever I get started on them in 2021 but thanks for being a part of my channel and happy holidays to you guys so I'm Paul Radio Man 2094 I'm out yo happy new year y'all but stay tuned for the new year new year special as well and then many more videos to come so stay tuned for those. I'm out.